हेलो एवरी वन आई एम अमूल्यम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स आई विद्या इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गिविंग अ डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑन इलेक्ट्रो मैकेनिकल ओवर वोल्टेज रिले दिस इज वन ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इन रिले एंड हाई वोल्टेज लैबोरेटरी सो द एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू स्टडी द टाइम वर्सेज वोल्टेज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रो मैकेनिकल ओवर वोल्टेज रिले दैट मीन्स हियर वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड द रिलेशन बिटवीन द ऑपरेटिंग टाइम ऑफ द रिले विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू द सप्लाई वोल्टेज सो हाउ डज द टाइम एंड द वोल्टेज बोथ आर रिलेटिव सो दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज सिमिलर टू द प्रीवियस सेशन Uh, experiment that is electromechanical over current relay in the over current relay we have done a relation between the time versus current so here we are doing a relation between time versus voltage similar to the previous experiment only this is also so now coming to the circuit diagram so this is the circuit diagram for the over voltage relay the supply from the mains we are receiving a 230 that will be fed to the fuse then it goes to the variac nothing but the auto transformer for the variation of the voltage then it will go to the step up transformer why it is step up means so we are doing a over voltage here the voltage to be stepped up here so from the input we are giving a 230 and it will go to the output as stepped up as 400 voltage so this 400 voltage will be given to the relay coils here so this is our electromechanical over voltage relay here and this is the relay auxiliary contact so this auxiliary connection we are using for the timer so this timer will it going to indicate at what time the relay is been operated so this is regarding the circuit diagram so now we are going to see the main uh, experimental arrangement of the electromechanical over voltage the kit is similar to the over current also so this is the time multiplier setting we call it as tms this is been connected or attached to the moving arrangement so this is the moving arrangement of the electromechanical relay and this is the fixed contact and these two are the electromagnets so between these two electromagnets the aluminum disc will be rotated so this aluminum disc is attached with the calibration scale so this will be reading the values starting from 0 to 1 so this whole calibration we call it as tms so the tms value is directly proportional to operating of the relay so this spindle it should need to come to the relay contact then it indicates tripping of the relay it is so now here this is the we call it as a plug setting multiplier that is a psm or we also call it as a relay operating voltage here so this values are given from 121 to 187 volts so what does it indicates means suppose we set the value of psm to 121 means the supply voltage should be more than 121 so before or uh, less than 121 if the set the voltage means the relay it won't be operating it is just like a permissible limit for the relay it is so while taking the reading if you are connected to 121 means we need to set it to more than 121 the supply voltage should be given so now coming to the connection of the circuit so observe here s1 is connected to one end of the relay coil and s2 of the transformer is connected to another end of the relay coil and ac1 that is auxiliary contact is connected to timer t1 and ac2 should be connected to another end of the timer so same way we are going to connect it here s1 is connected to relay coil s2 is connected to another end of the relay coil t1 is connected to auxiliary contact and another end of the auxiliary contact is connected to timer t2 so this is about the connection so before switching on the main supply we need to make sure that the toggle switch of the timer either it should be in set mode or it should be in off mode it should not be directly in the start mode and this is the reset button for the timer and these two are the indicator for the relay switch on and this is the indication for tripping of the relay test so now we are going to switch on the supply once we switch on the uh, toggle switch should be in set mode so coming to the case 1 see observe here these are the observations here so in the case 1 we are going to study the effect of the relay supply voltage versus operating time so observe here so here uh, we are taking the tms value as 1 and psm will be set it to 121 so that means the supply voltage versus operating time we are doing it here since the psm is 121 now same way we are going to arrange here tms is 1 psm is 121 so observe here the tms the timer value that also should be set it to 
and the plug setting should be set it to 121 so these two connections need to be these two settings needs to be made then we need to switch on the supply so now we are going to switch on the supply this is in set mode so we are going to set the voltage this is the supply voltage variation nothing but the variac here since we have set the psm as 121 means so here the supply voltage should be more than 121 then only the relay will going to operate so now we are going to set the voltage to 130 degree 130 volts then bring this to off condition so that the aluminium disc will come back to its initial value or initial condition so after that then we have to bring the switch to start condition so once we bring this to start condition so the relay will start to operate and it takes a specified time for tripping so until that we need to wait so now the relay will going to trip so what we have to note down so now the supply voltage is 130 and the relay operating time for 130 is 38.5 second so this is what the case one is now increasing of 1010 voltage we need to take five readings 130 140 150 like that we have to take a five readings so now moving on to case 2 so the case 2 is also similar to case 1 but one thing you need to observe here in the case 1 and case 2 we are keeping the PSM value as a constant but we are varying the timer values so in the previous we have kept the timer to 1 and here we are reducing the timer value to 0.5 so that indicates that as we are reducing the timer value and the operating time also should need to reduce because the timer TMS and the operating time that is a tripping time of the relay these two are directly proportional so that is what we need to observe that means in the case 2 we are going to start taking from the same voltage because PSM is 121 means so the supply voltage should be more than 121 so we will start from 30 then we will see at what time the relay will going to trip so it should need to commit as a half of it because here the TMS is 1 here it has been reduced to 0.5 so the operating time also should need to come half of it so if same thing we are going to observe now so now we are set the voltage to 130 and here we need to set the reduce the timer value to 0.5 so we set the timer value to 0.5 here and uh, the PSM should be equal to 121 so after that we need to bring the switch to off condition then we need to bring this to start mode now so the relay start to operate but one thing you have to remember here the timer value compared to the previous case it will be reduced it to half of it because we reduce the TMS also so once the relay is a trip so then we have to note down the operating time here so now the relay has a trip so for the supply voltage of 130 we have got the timer as 17.81 second so now observe here from case 1 and case 2 so this has been reduced to half of it for the same supply voltage 130 here for the case 1 it has taken 38 second now for the same supply voltage in the case 2 by reducing the TMS to 0.5 it has been getting the operating time as 17.81 second so this is about case 1 and case 2 so from these two case we need to plot a graph so that is by taking the x axis as the supply voltage and on the y axis as operating time so here uh, the graph will be same but only thing we need to observe the time operating time will be reduced to half of it so these two graphs are just like a idmt characteristics idmt means inverse definite mean time minimum the supply voltage operating time taken for the relay will be maximum as we keep on increasing the supply voltage the time taken for relay to trip will be minimum so this is what we have to observe in the case 1 as well as in the case 2 so now coming to case 3 observe here so here we are going to study about the effect of a PSM on the operating time. So look at this entire table. In this entire table, we are keeping the timer value as a constant. But in the previous case, observe here, we are keeping the plex setting value as a constant, but we varied the timer value. But in this case 3, we have kept the timer value constant as 1, but we keep on varying the plex setting values. That is here we kept it as 121, 132 and 143. Mm -hmm. So by taking these different values of PSM so we need to note down the supply voltage and the corresponding operating time of the relay need to be taken then the average value of the operating time should be noted down so this is also similar to the previous case only so from this we are going to get the graph like this way 
so that is on the x axis we need to take a supply voltage and on the y axis we need to take average operating time because we need to take the average value of all the operating time so from this table we'll get one operating time that value will be added with this then it will be added with this so these three average should be taken here so one supply voltage versus the average value we need to note so similarly this is the table for tms1 likewise we need to take one more table by taking a tms as a 0.8 fixed and one more table tms will be fixed to 0.6 so from these three curves we will be observing that so minimum the supply voltage more will be the operating time as the supply voltage keeps on increases the timer for operation of the relay also will be reduces so this is about the electromechanical over voltage relay thank you